Hello fellow dragons, it's Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming and this is the demo for Tales of the Neon Sea. A small indie game created by, and just look it up again because my brain just went in the thing, Palm Pioneer and being published by Zodiac Interactive. It is a pixel art driven game, it is extremely lovely, lovingly detailed and it has some really fantastic mechanics and idealisms. The other thing I really like about this, and this is a really small detail that only adventure gamers will really seasoned adventure gamers, I mean like right in the back in the day of Tex Adventure onwards, or even LucasArts onwards sort of thing, is that there are a lot of things here detailed, but at the same time they're not sort of labelled, so you can't actually see them, and that was one of the things in the LucasArts games, especially, and Sierra, and all the other um, graphical adventure, sort of 2D adventures that we had during the 90s to mid 2000s, where you had so much environment, but you did nothing with the environment. But this, there is a level of detail here that is really much bigger than was previously really done. And I love, the tonal quality of the characters, there's sarcasm, there's a lot of jokes, there's a lot of different things, like you play as a detective mostly, but at the same time you also end up playing as a cat, you also end up playing this detective game, or normal sort of case file design idealism, and it is really intriguing, it has got some fantastic details, the investigation thing, I love the investigation where you can examine bodies, you can try and figure out what happened to the body and you follow the crime scene and then you reconstruct the crime scene through this sort of digital watch thing. It's a really inspiring game and a lot of the sort of teaser stuff and stuff that's detailed later in the sort of... Um, story driven what's going to happen at some point it's very interesting too there seems to be a sort of time dilation between points and one point and another and you're going to be following this kind of almost pulp fiction sort of split up story but it, it all has a cohesive structure at the same time and that's really where this game is fantastically designed and I love the detail of it, I love the art style of it, but I also love how as you're playing it, it's really engrossing and it only gives you three separate sort of sections in this game to have a look at, but my god, this is coming out on the 30th of April and you know, go and pick it up. I think this is a well worth game that just oozes character, oozes sort of the old the neon noir of the Blade Runner kind of idealism, but with a dash of the old school sort of deadpan comedy all the way through. Like um, at the beginning, you start arguing with a robot, and the robot starts initiating self destruct sequence. And it's like, the guy says, Shut up! And it's, like, and it's that tongue in cheek sort of design that is really very detailed, and I love. It's just a really great design, sort of. I gush a lot about these kind of games because these are the kind of games where they will give you something to talk about. Like, Into the into Night in the Woods. It's an extremely basic game, it's a very simple game, but the narrative and the way the story is presented to you is what makes that game so engrossing and this is the same idealism it's not so much what the game is it's not so much what you can do in the game but it's the engrossing factor in the game because honestly Fortnite is not much of a game the only reason it's a decent game is because of the level of interaction that other people have with each other with the game and at the end of the day it's that interactivity that makes the game what it is if like a third to almost two thirds of the people stop playing the game, you would suddenly notice that the game wasn't as much fun, recreative mode or not. 
Minecraft still becomes a great game because of the story idealism of the game, but not, but also how the game is presented to the player. So it's a one and a half a dozen the other. But this is a must-have game for any adventure game player. And I hope if you haven't had a look at this, please go have a look at it. It's on Steam. There's a free demo for it, and I'm waiting for the full game. I really want to play this. It's it's just got me stoked for another adventure game that I can just tease away a whole lot of hours just enjoying the story, exploring the world, and understanding what the world sort of represents and everything. So, I'm Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more content, please hit the subscribe button down below. And also hit that like button because it makes me see that I'm doing the right job or the wrong job. At the end of the day, it makes the game what it is. If, like, a third to almost two-thirds of the people stop playing the game, you would suddenly notice that the game wasn't as much fun creative mode or not. Minecraft still becomes a great game because of the story idealism of the game but not but also how the game is presented to the player. So it's a one and a half a dozen the other. But this is a must have game for any adventure game player. And I hope if you haven't had a look at this, please go have a look at it. It's on Steam. There's a free demo for it and I'm waiting for the full game. I really want to play this. It's it's just got me stoked for another adventure game that I can just tease away a whole lot of hours just enjoying the story, exploring the world, and understanding what the world sort of represents and everything. So I'm Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more content, please hit the subscribe button down below. And also hit that like button because it makes me see that I'm doing the right job or the wrong job. At the end of the day, you know, I don't know what I'm doing right or wrong until someone sort of smacks me over the back of the head. I'm an amateur. But I'm trying my, my hardest at this. Other than that, have a fabulous day and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.